Hello, and welcome to the Fear Channel, a channel with regular broadcasts telling the most chilling of urban legends, ghost stories, and forays into the darkest corners of the human mind. Those faint of heart or prone to night terrors should proceed at their own risk. Tonight's story is The Mimics. This all started on a camping trip with friends. We were hiking along a path about a quarter mile from our campsite when my friend gets really worried and says, Oh crap, Meg, did you bring that extra sleeping bag for me? Yeah, I got it, we're good. So we keep walking. At this point, we're getting pretty far from our camp. Suddenly, from the brush across the stream that paralleled our path, we hear, Bad did ye ye bur bur de etra epi berg for me. It was so inhuman sounding, like an animal almost. It repeats several times. Each time it sounds more and more like our friend. Now we're really terrified. So we start running back. The whole time we're hearing leaves moving behind us. Most of us are too afraid to look. From behind us, in a low whimper, I hear, Wait, I'm hurt. It sounds just like me, but I'm crying. We just keep running. As we get closer to the opening into the field where we were camping, the bushes are thicker. We're not really fit, and we had been running pretty hard. By now we were gasping for air. Directly from the right of us, TIRED YET! Sounds like me again. Almost with a bark. I was shaking so hard at this point. I turn and look back, and I see this massive mound of fur in the bushes. It turns and heads back from the way we came. So we get back to camp, all flustered and out of breath, and we tell our friends what happened. They of course don't believe us, they think it's some elaborate ruse. We absolutely refuse to stay there that night. So we get in my friend's car and drive to town and sleep in a cheap motel. Around 11.30pm my phone rings. It's our friends at the camp. Our other friend is screaming, Jesus, will you guys give it up? It's been two hours, you're not scaring us, just keeping us from sleeping. My friend gets all hysterical, telling us to leave. They're convinced we drove back there in the woods yelling that we're hurt and for them to come help us. I turn up the motel TV and let them hear that we're in town. My friend doesn't say anything, just hangs up immediately. Within the next half hour they arrive at our motel and they spend the rest of the night with us. The next day we go back for our shit and never go back there again.